The information processing model is a four stage model. Let's begin with input. So input is all about our senses, what information we take in from our surroundings. So if I put myself in a game of tennis and my opponent sends a forehand volley to my right hand side, it involves me looking at the tennis ball and recognising that the ball is moving towards my right hand side and you know, taking into account information about the speed of the ball, the flight, the position it's likely to land, and so on. Decision making is all about selecting the appropriate response based on long term memory. So with years of practice, what we begin to do is we begin to store memories. And what this means is when we're in certain situations, our bodies naturally know what to do in response to a particular stimuli. So in this scenario, what will start to happen is electrical impulses will be sent from my brain to the relevant muscles. And this is where output begins to kick in. So as those electrical impulses are sent to the relevant muscles, as I have taken the information in, recognising that the ball is going to my right hand side, it starts to happen. So my legs and feet move to the right hand side. I watch the ball and I manipulate my hand and rack it into a position so I can hopefully successfully return the ball. Now, once that's happened, we reach something called feedback and feedback can happen in two forms. It can happen intrinsically and it can happen extrinsically. Intrinsically means feedback from within. So that sense of success and satisfaction knowing that you have done something well when returning the shot and it might be that you've successfully scored a point and for that reason you know you've been successful because clearly from within you feel that success as you achieve a point. Extrinsic feedback is slightly different so this is feedback provided by external sources so it might be that a teacher, a friend, a coach, a parent says well done, Mr. Matthews. What a shot. That was a fantastic shot. So that is feedback that we receive externally. So that is an example of extrinsic feedback. Guys, well done. You've made it to the end. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do not be afraid of hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.